Hi guys, and welcome back to anti Meta Dimensions. So, it's been several hours since the last recording. So what I thought I would do is I'd get that. I wouldn't get that because it's expensive. I would get some time theorems, like three. Then I'd get that. And I'd maybe buy some time dimensions. At least cheap ones. And I can get that. So that's four spare time theorems in total because three are invested here. So once we have seven, we'll switch to the middle path. We're saving up for 12. So I think I'm going to do a long run here. And well, we'll also see the peak eternity points per minute while doing this long run. So 3.2, 3.7, 3.7. Um, so, yeah. And we're... When we do these long runs, we're going for time theorems. <coughs> so, yeah. And, of course, you can crunch manually, but you could have an x times last crunch if you want. <coughs> if you're doing a run idly, then you should definitely have an x times last crunch. And same if you're farming eternity points. When you get this study down here you won't even have to crunch but that's like that's gonna be a little while so it looks like we're close to getting another time theorem here and we're close to e200,000 antimatter so let's see um okay here we go e900 um I don't know what's best to be honest um, I'll just keep going and see. I'm almost up to E200,000. And once we get to E1620 infinity points, we'll have the replicant chance and interval maxed, so you won't have to worry about replicante speed anymore for a very long time. And we're very close to E200,000. I'll just get that, which is a small boost. So now this upgrade is giving me like sextillion multiplier. Um, and I'm. Let I don't know. I'm still crunching it like e twenty times last crunch, pretty easily. Obviously, my replicated galaxies take a few seconds to build up, but once I've got 14 of them, it's pretty good. I got an achievement called the Swarm. Get 10 replicated galaxies in 15 seconds. So a lot of these will happen naturally. I have 174 tick speed upgrades for my time dimensions. I need 308. So I'm getting close to some of these achievements. Um, This row doesn't exist. Um, this one is the only one I'll have to do manually, and I think we're ready to do it. So do it on the next eternity. Does that have a reward? No. Um, there's also this one. Oh, we got this one. That means I can buy another time theorem. And that's seven time theorems, so I should be switching to the middle path here. Um... So I'm going to respect. I'm going to enable respect. It might start to slow down soon because. Yeah. So I'm eternitying. I'm going to eternity here and then. um, I'm going to go for the middle path because I can. And it's more powerful. These are more expensive but more powerful. This one isn't as powerful yet but it will become. So. Instead of doing a long run, I figured I would go 1e31 and set this to 0. Well, I actually set this to 1, but setting it to 0 will make it eternity instantly. Oh, we need to set this a bit higher because of a break infinity upgrade that generates infinity stat based on our fastest infinity. So I might have to, like... Maybe like 1e45. 
I know I can't set it too high or I won't be able to make it. See how many times I've been... F oh, I know what's wrong. I have to respect out of study, out of this study. So we're going to have to take the left path even though it's less good. Hopefully I'll still be able to move. The thing is, if I have an infinity more than five seconds long, that'll be bad because of um, this achievement's reward. What's what's going? Oh, so I have to sort of turn it on right after it eternities because it's doing an infinity like right away, so it thinks I have a fast infinity. If that makes sense. I don't know. So I enable it. It's a bit... We're in better shape here. There we go. That's the achievement. Eternity with the infinity stat under 10. It's a little bit difficult, but it's not too bad. I also can probably get... Ain't nobody got time for that. Eternity without buying dimensions 1 to 7. This row doesn't exist. Um, I might be able to go for never again as well. Max out your third eternity upgrade, and so it's based on infinity challenge time, so we have to get that down. So, um, let's get Ain't Nobody but Got Time for that. I just have to turn these off. Um, and, um, I don't know if it will happen on this eternity, but I'll get the achievement on this one. So, um, here we go. There we go. Now I can turn these back on. And I'll go for the never again achievement. So if I just turn this off, set this to like 2030 now, you want to steadily increase it. I'm going to go for another long run and late into this long run, I'm going to go for the never again achievement. Because the thing is, the multiplier for on all dimensions is so high that we'll be able to absolutely crush any infinity challenges. That's the thing. And this path is more powerful, so we'll be able to... Oh, and I need to respect and get a better build. Um. Okay, so... um. Now it's going to be even faster. It's a bit annoying waiting for the replicante, but it's not too bad, especially when you get more studies like this one and this one, but obviously that's significantly later into the game. And that's like the only thing that will speed up replicante. Um, well, pretty much the only thing. There's also an achievement reward, but it's very small, because by then, like, your replicante will be really fast. So the limit of the interval is still one millisecond, so um, we can't really upgrade it further than that. And we, the limit of the replicate chance is 100%. So our replicate will never really get faster than one second to reach infinity. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, this has to go up. So... I'll try and get my infinity challenge times down now. So my big crunch autobuyer is on, so it's big crunching and it's just forgot like how to big crunch because it's in an infinity challenge and you have to. There we go, that's the never again achievement. Um, so now it's maxed out. Well, I don't know exactly what the limit is because the reward is the limit is a bit higher, but like, I mean, the multiplier we got is enough. And it's a multiplier on our infinity dimension, so it should be pretty good, actually. It's, it's, it's like a trillion times multiplier on all our infinity dimensions, which is sort of significant at this point. And we're using the infinity dimension path. We have a lot of boosts here. So we're probably going to be able to go past where we were when we did the long run earlier. So that's a lot of row 10 achievements.
this one's the uh, this one's actually the hardest. Um, because we need like seven hundred fifty dimension boost, and we're not really there. Also, I need to get three hundred eight tick speed upgrades from time dimensions, which will just happen. Um, oh no, time studies. Come on, I can do this. So it's gonna be a little bit, but I still have fifteen potential replicated galaxies. So, um, yeah, it's not gonna slow down for a little bit. We'll, we can probably get to at least these next two studies here. With the antimatter one, you might have to spam it a little bit. And then you get the theorem. Um, we're gonna get the infinity point one, I think. And then we'll be able to get that, which will make it even faster. Um, I might also have to update my Eternity Auto Buyer. Okay, here we go. I need... Um, yeah, we're very close to this theorem. So I could get 16 Replicanti Galaxies. And it, there's a big chance that I won't get that and it will just crunch. And it does take a little bit to get them, but it's not too bad. Here we go. And now I just, it's, it's, it's slowing down a little bit, but I can still get that. And I'm very close to E240,000 antimatter, so we can probably push to that. I won't push even further, though. I don't really like pushing really far. Um, because I can tell we're starting to cap out a little bit here. Just a little bit. Um, you can push past where you're starting to cap out. Okay. We're still not completely capped out. For example, you could probably get that. Because once you get, because this takes out seven spare theorems, switching from this path to this one, plus another three. So once you get two more time theorems, I can get this study here, make the infinity point formula better. So basically raises your infinity points gain to the power of 1.1, and further down the tree is always good. So now I can get 17 replicated galaxies, which helps a lot. So I should be able to get E1200 infinity points. And then one more time theorem after that, and I can get this study. Obviously I'll have to switch back to this path and respect out of this, but it's still good. I think. So let's see. This is how many infinity points I get. We don't get it on this crunch, but probably on the next one, for example. Um, so it's like sort of fast at this stage, but not really. The slowest part is like sextillions of eternity points, but after that it just gets faster and faster. Um, so like this study tree, like, just takes us all the way to the end game. And in new game update, we actually it actually doesn't take us all the way to the end game. There we go, that's a time theorem. But in new game plus 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 it takes us all the way to ghostify. In this game it takes us in the main game it takes us to the end. So that's good. That, I mean that's cool. I don't know if pushing to E two sixty antimatter is possible. But I might go for it. I mean, I don't think it's too hard. Because we... We're still getting a few thousand orders of magnitude on each crunch, so if I push just a little bit... I'm gonna enable respect here, so that I remember to do it. If I push just a little bit here, I can probably get E260,000 antimatter, allowing me to get the infinity point formula study. The next thing to stay up for is this one. So I'm starting to realize that this section is surprisingly fast if you know how to do it right. Like, from eternity to when you do your first eternity challenge, it's surprisingly fast if you know how to do it right. Um, it was just slow when I did it the first time, but now I have experience and I know and I've seen from the Discord, so... I'm, I'm pretty good at this, like, I'm already down here in the studies, almost. Um... Okay, here we go. Now we need 17 replicated galaxies, but I think we'll get E260,000 
infinity points on this run, or at least close to that. Here we go. No, not infinity points, antimatter. It might be a bit confusing with all the different currencies, but I might be able to push to it right now, actually. Sometimes I like to just grind my time dimensions, let them produce tick speed upgrades and do their thing. And soon enough, we will have it. It's slowing down, but we can make it here. Yes. Now let's respect. Um, and then go here, get the normal dimension path, and this study, make the IP formula better. So, um, let's see. Wow, 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 wow. That's like six point, that's like 8.4 thousand. Is that study just, this just keeps going up. Feels like I just got like a five times in eternity point multiplier. Okay, it's like 13,000 here. So if I leave this overnight, I should have over 10 million in eternity points in the morning. I'm going to start saving up for one of these. And with the second three-way split, here's how to do it in a nutshell. Use this path when farming eternity points on this one when going for time theorems. And before going through time theorems, respect your studies and do 10 quick eternities with your eternity autobar set to 1 so that you can max out this study. Don't worry, this study is not affected by um this upgrade here, but it is affected by itself and it's also affected by this study so you that's why you want to respect your studies before doing the quick eternities to max it out so it maxes out at a 50 times multiplier and the second three-way split is next episode so i will see you guys later bye